Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your daily reading for today. Today is Wednesday and it's October. It is October the 21st. I hope you guys are having an amazing Wednesday. Definitely sending you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. I love you all. All right, so let's definitely hop in. Um, of course, let it be great. Let's see what spirit has to say. All righty, I am going to be using the Angel Guide Oracle for our spirit message. I told you guys this is like my fave right now. So we're going to use that for our spirit message, and then we'll hop into the love portion. So let's see what's going on, collective. And remember, only take what resonates with you, my loves. All righty, so let's see the spirit of the universe. What message do you have for the collective for today, Wednesday, October the 21st? If I resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so that you guys are notified when I do upload future content. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right, let's hop in, guys. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what spirit has to say. Uh, let's see. Please give me one spirit message for the collectors for today, Wednesday, October the 21st. We have take a step back. Let's see what this is about, guys. All right. We have take a step back. And it says, when we try to rush ahead or force something to happen, we can often miss signals, signs, and messages that are encouraging us to change course. If you have a big decision to make now or, or are in the midst of moving a project forward, your angels are encouraging you to take a step back and breathe. What is for you won't go by you. Your angels are encouraging you to step into the energy of trust. When you do so, you would draw universal energy and support to you. If you have concerns about another person or a relationship, this card is guiding you to draw back and respect the space of others. Let this be a time of self-care and self-awareness. And when you step back, you let the universe step in. Okay? So, I love this deck. This is very powerful. Alrighty? So, when it comes to, like, your projects, your business, work, they want you to take a step back. Alright? What is for you is for you. Whether it's a raise, a promotion, a product, starting your business, whatever. They don't want you to rush. They want you to take your time. They want you to maybe go over something, we look at something. Is it ready? Do you think it's ready? Are you rushing to just throw something out there? Are you just trying to rush and hop into a business? Like whatever it is, they're telling you to take a step back. And when the timing is right, the universe will make it happen for you, okay? And those who are meant to support you, follow you, show, express love to you or whatever it is you're doing, your job, career, business, whatever, that is naturally going to come towards you, okay? Now, if this has to do with a relationship, it's telling you guys to step back, okay? And let the universe step in. I feel like you guys are maybe trying to force something, rush something, or you guys are wanting to see something differently, or you want to see, like, action, you want to see something happen now. And the universe is saying, no, step back. All right, respect the other person's space or they need to respect your space or during this separation or the space between you guys or the distance, whatever, is telling you guys that you guys should focus on self-care and self-awareness, okay? So making yourself a priority and focusing on you and letting the universe step in, all right, to handle the situation. So I'm loving the message for today starting out, all righty? Let's hop into the love portion. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love. Let it be great, of course. We have no time. We don't have time for no fool. All right, let's see. Spirit of Universe messages for the collective in love, October the 21st. Uh oh. Let's see, guys. Let's see what's coming in for you guys in love. Messages for the collective. Love messages for the collective. 
Using the sword to be first. Let's see. The Ten of Swords. Something's over. Something's done. Something has come to an ending. Okay, it's time for some type of new beginning. So something has finally ended. You have the Ten of Swords. Wow, look. And the Ten of Cups. This is amazing. I'm loving this. Even though it's two tens, the way it came out. Okay? Ten of Swords. Three of, I mean, Ten of Cups. All right? Something's over. Something's done. Something's ended. But it's bringing in a lot more happiness, fulfillment, feeling whole, feeling complete. All right, getting everything it is you want, whether it's in love, within yourself, your home, whatever. Because I tell you guys, when I see the Ten of Cups, it's all about you and what you want. If it comes to a relationship, then yeah, it could be like marriage, having children, finally moving in together, settling down, whatever feels like the Ten of Cups to you. But with the Ten of Swords, something has come to an ending. Okay, something is over and done. All right, whether it's in that relationship or maybe you guys were going through something in that relationship and it's like it's the end of it. So now it's like you're going towards your ten of cups, okay? Um, with that person, or this can be with someone new. We don't know yet, but we're going to find out. All right, let's see what else we got. We have the Ace of Pentacles coming up in reverse, okay? Let's see. Spirit of the Universe, please give me a few more cards. Let's see. Under the Ten of Swords, we have the Hermit. Wow, this is crazy. This is resonating with the card. Remember, I told you to take a step back and let the universe step in? Because some of you guys could be trying to force someone to commit to you. You want marriage. You want to move in. You want to do this. You want to do that. And they may want to take it slow, okay? Ace of Pentacles in reverse can be someone that, you know, wants to take their time to get to know you. They, you know, want to move slow. Or this can be you guys, like, anxious and excited to be in this committed relationship, but it's just not moving forward or it's not going towards commitment. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse can also be, um, it, I just feel like with this, someone's not ready for a commitment or someone feels like their partner is not all the way ready to commit or they don't feel like their partner... For some of you guys can give you what you're needing um, within this committed relationship. But let's see. Under the Ten of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, and then let's see. What, what is under the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Five Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles. Okay. Wow. Two of Pentacles. All right. At the bottom of the deck. So we have the Two of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, the Strength card, the Chariot in reverse. Okay. So someone is definitely frustrated. Someone is, is frustrated. Someone's trying to figure everything out. Someone's trying to, someone, like, this person really wants to make you happy. Like, they they really want to make you happy is what I'm getting. Or they want to give you everything it is you want. Okay, we have the two of pentacles. We have the five of pentacles. This is someone struggling, okay, to find balance. Trying to get themselves together financially, you know, trying to um, find balance in their life, okay? And I feel like you guys not talking, separating, breaking up arguing with the seven of wands is is hurting them it's really affecting them it's bothering them okay because when i look at the cards here and i see the ten of swords to the hermit this is some something that needs to end something needs to change or end in this relationship and the ten of swords doesn't always have to be like where they lied they cheated they betrayed you they did you really wrong they did this they did that but the ten of swords can also be like something in your relationship could be like frustrating you bothering you it's like it like you just you're like i just i can't wait for this shit to be over you know i don't know it could be anything maybe your partner is frustrating you maybe something they do what they say how they're acting i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna clarify and when i see the hermit this is someone that needs to gain wisdom or this is someone that needs to like it's not even just wisdom it's like this person is is learning and growing in this relationship with you and you may come off as more mature than this person you may come off as knowing more when it comes to relationships. For some of you guys, I feel like this person, like you're their first serious relationship or um, like you're the first relationship that they're actually really taking serious, okay? And this person is needing to gain enlightenment or this person is going within and looking back at the things that they did wrong in the relationship. Why am I saying that? Is because the Ten of Cups, the Hermit, Ace of Wands, and the King of Pentacles, this person really wants this new passionate beginning with you you guys have a past life connection they really want to commit to you this person is this person is maturing and growing with the hermit here um it could be their past that is holding them back this can be this can be like past pain trauma you know um prior relationships where there was just a lot of you know damage betrayal deception 
and this person needs to realize that you're not that person, not that relationship. We have the Ten of Cups to the Ace of Wands, so their magic can happen. I mean, like something beautiful can happen between you guys. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse to the King of Pentacles. This person looks, it looks as if this person really wants to commit to you, but they know they have to make some improvements or fix things or they need to be better in this relationship um this commitment or whatever it is that you guys have between you guys so it's like this person is um i just feel like someone like they really want to make you happy and it could be bothering them or frustrating them that the relationship is not going the way they want it to so it's like with the take a step back maybe you need to take some time you know apart maybe you're like you know what i need some space i need some time i need to figure things out I'm tired of this. I can't go through this anymore. I can't deal with this when it comes to you or this relationship. So I want to definitely clarify the Ten of Swords and see what this is all about. Um, but something is definitely coming to an ending with the Ten of Swords. And it looks like after this ending, things are going to turn around and be better. But then we have this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So we're going to see what this is about. All right. For some of you guys, you're going to come out of commitment. But it's like as soon as you're ready to come out of this committed relationship, it's like now this person is ready to change or make some type of changes within the relationship. So we're going to see what this is about. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Three of Swords. Okay. So... We have swords. We have the seven of cups here. Hmm. Going to the three of swords. Seven of cups again. Five of swords. So this person makes impulse decisions. Are there's a lot going on with this person? And it has created a lot of confusion within the relationship. The Nine of Swords to the Seven of Cups is someone that's always confused. Okay? Um, they don't see things clearly. They only see things their way. They're very defensive. If you try to talk to this person, it's like they're ready to attack. You know? And I feel like with the Seven of Cups, these are all the issues that you may have addressed in the relationship. Okay? With this person. Because we have the Seven of Cups here twice. And I feel like you guys kind of see this relationship different. In two different ways. Meaning like... The problems and issues that you may have in the relationship, they don't really see it as a problem and issue. And then the problems and issues they see in the relationship, you may not see it the same. But it's like there's some heartbreak. There's, you know, some damage, some hurt. And it's like the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. Someone is just like, you know, like, I love you, but, like, I can't keep dealing with your attitude, like, your ways, the decisions that you're making. You know, like, you're confusing me. You say you're going to change and you're not changing. Like, so I just feel like whoever this is you're dealing with, Something about them is coming to an ending and changing, okay? One, whatever they did not want to see, they are now seeing that clearly. And I feel like when you guys take this step back or take this break from this person, that is going to is gonna be an eye-opener for them or they're going to see the relationship differently, um, view it differently, but from your perspective. Because it's like this person is taking in what you have been saying, what you've been telling them, and... Let's see. Let's go into the Seven of Cups really quick. We have the Seven of Cups here twice. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups here? I hope I'm making sense, guys. So let me see. Why is the Seven of Cups here twice? The Six of Swords and the Page of Cups. Yeah, like I told you, this is you telling someone how you feel. But it's like, it's kind of like, you know, I love you. I care about you. But we need time apart. You know, I need some time to think about this. Six of Swords is here with the Four of Swords. So it looks like there is going to be some distance. Or you guys are going to take a couple days off or... There is like a little temporary separation between you guys because of everything that's going on in the relationship. The confusion and you just feel hurt, you know, like I said, and it doesn't even have to be like they lied or cheated. It could be, it could just be, you know, like, like I said, like, oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to do better. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. And they're still doing it, you know, and it just, it's bothering you. You're frustrated and that is coming to an ending with that ton of swords here. All right. Um, let's see how the hermit is here. It's like this person no longer wants to hurt you, break your heart, um, whatever this may be. Like, you would know what this is about. Let's see why the hermit is here. Going to the hermit. Why is the hermit here? The two of swords. And see, look, the ten of swords reverse. And I'll tell you that this person was blindfolded to the things that they were doing. Or, you know, like I said, like they were confused, you know, or they weren't seeing things the way you've seen things, okay? I like this person also just has a lot going on. And I also feel like they're taking their frustration out on you. Because when I see the Knight of Swords with the Seven of Cups, that's someone that has a lot going on. And they're quick to snap. They're quick to, like, jump down your throat. This is someone that, like, it's like they're frustrated with their life. They have a lot going on or something could be bothering them. And then they're just taking it out on you. 
and you may be tired of that. And with the hermit and the two of swords here, that's what they were blindfolded to. But the hermit is them actually going within and seeing, you know, or reflecting back on what you were saying, okay? Because we have the Ten of Swords reverse. They're trying to get out of this energy. Ten of Swords reverse, like, they're like, I want this to be behind me. I can't keep lying. I can't keep playing victim. You know, maybe it is me. Maybe it's not them. You know, um, it's like, I feel like this person is viewing all of that. Because to see the Ten of Swords and the upright to the Ten of Swords reverse, is like, they want to put an ending to it. It looks like they definitely want to make you happy and make things better. But this person first had, it, had to admit that, you know, they were wrong in some type of way. Or something that they were doing was wrong or needed to come to an inner change. All right. Let's see how the Ten of Swords is coming up in reverse. Why is the Ten of Swords in reverse? The Page of Swords. And we have it with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah. So it was some messages that came in that weren't so nice. They weren't so sweet from you guys. Page of Swords to the Knight of Cups in reverse is it's not nice. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be hurtful. It can be truthful because the Page of Swords is very blunt and honest. But it's with the Knight of Cups reverse. And this could be like, you know what? I love you, but until you change, we can't be together. Or, again, like I said, I need time away from the relationship. But I don't know if we should move forward if you're going to keep doing this and acting like this with the Knight of Cups reverse. I don't see this as an ex. Could be. But whoever this is, it's like you're like you're needing to change. Like, you know, like you're sweet, but, you know... At the same time, you're doing this and that in the relationship. So, it's like you said something to them that was very truthful and it was very honest. And that's what they're reflecting on. And they that's why we have this energy here. That it's like they're trying to, they want to make things better. They want to do things differently. I thought they want to offer you the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Like, that's their intentions. That's who have the Nine of Cups is in reverse. Yep, see? The Ten of Wands reverse. Okay? Putting, you know, putting down the burdens, the stress. Um... This is someone that, you know, is ready to pick up the responsibilities in a relationship because how I'm seeing it is like maybe you just had a lot on your plate. You were doing too much. Maybe you were doing everything in the relationship. So it's like this is someone like, you know what? I need to take the stress off of you. I stressed you out. I caused burdens. I need, you know, to pick up on the responsibilities or some of the responsibilities are, you know, maybe I need to treat you or do this or do that, whatever it may be. But it's like with the Ten of Wands reverse they're also frustrated and ready to put it to an ending. And I feel like it is something is coming to an ending in their life where it's going to change the relationship for the positive. I'm not sure what it is because, like I said, again, it's going to resonate differently for all of you guys. All right. Um, let's see how this Ace of Pentacles is coming up in reverse. Why is Ace of Pentacles coming up in reverse? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for the collective? Let's see. The magician. Yeah, see, so this could be a Virgo or a Gemini, okay? And this person is, is fully, like, they're trying to fully step into their power with the magician here, okay? This person definitely could be stressed out, sleepless nights, not able to, you know, sleep, eat, think, you know, because I feel like whatever you said is definitely on their mind, okay, with that. Yeah, see, whatever you communicated to them is on their mind. And then we have the two of cups here. So the relationship, the connection, what you said is on their mind. And it's very heavy on their mind all right let's see how the magician is here because this is someone like okay i know i can change i know i can do better i know i can fully step into my power i know i can commit to them i know i can show up you know better in this relationship i can be the king of pentacles you know um i really want this relationship so we're gonna see why is the magician here going to the magician we have the five of wands okay so this is inner conflict this can be blockages, obstacles in the way. Let's see how the Five of Wands is here. Why is the Five of Wands here? Nine of Swords, and we have the High Priestess. Yeah. This person is really stressed out, and it's about other things outside the relationship. Okay? And I really feel like this person wants to be more stable. They do want to make and put the effort into this relationship. Just looking at the energy here. We have the world card in reverse. So something, they're going through something in their life. And they feel like it just has been a re repeated cycle. Like, they feel like it's never ending. Whatever they're going through, they're just like, I cannot wait for it to be over. I can't wait to, you know, I, I'm, you know, back on my feet or, you know, in that eight of pentacles energy where I'm working and doing this. Not saying they're not working, but it's like there's something that they're focusing on that they want to see happen. And they feel like it's never ending, okay? And it's creating blockages. It makes them stressed out. I also feel like when I see the Magician, the Five of Wands, and the Nine of Swords, this is someone fighting to be strong in the relationship. So this person is not opening up to you. They're not really being vulnerable or showing you their vulnerable side or expressing their vulnerability. 
And the reason why I'm saying that is because a magician is someone that has the potential. Like, they can do it. They can manifest whatever. Both the Five of Wands and Nine of Swords, this is, like, inner conflict, up all night, a lot of things on their mind. It's like, they got to pay this, do this. That person's coming at them like this. They got to deal with this, deal with that, deal with this. And then it's like, you feel some type of way. You guys are fighting and arguing in a relationship, so it's just really stressing them out, okay? And they, yeah, look, we have the Empress. We have the Eight, sorry, the Three of Pentacles, and we have the four of cups so the last thing they want to do is let you down that's the last thing they want to do is let you down and they're in their head trying to figure it all out with eight of swords they're like how do i get myself out of this how do i figure it all out and they're stressing out and like i said someone is very vulnerable and we have a high priestess here with a hermit so i feel like this person is listening to everything you say they may not respond okay or they may not say anything but um, or this may be a situation like where, you know, when you talk to someone and they like got their arms folded and you're like, did you hear what I said? Like, are you listening to me? And they're like, yeah, but, and you like, they're not really giving you feedback. So like, you're kind of frustrated. I feel like this person is definitely in taking everything you're saying. Okay. They definitely are. Like they, they feel like you have helped them a lot. They feel like you're very helpful. They feel like, um, like, you know, a lot because I high priestess, she could know a lot. Like, you know, or it's just, maybe you're just very positive. Not saying the high priestess is always a very positive energy, though. Ace of Wands. So, some of you guys have extended your knowledge to this person. Like, you have woke them up and made them realize a lot. Okay? You guys can be very spiritual with this energy. Okay? So, maybe you're helping this person manifest. Maybe you're teaching this person how to manifest, think, act, be, speak positive. There's something about you that they love that is keeping them motivated. But at the same time... They're frustrated and they're battling something. When they're around you, they're very happy. I feel like you take their mind off of their frustration or whatever it is they're going through. But at the same time, they want to be better and they want to show up better in this relationship with this energy here. For sure. They do. Where's my little pink cards? Let me go get my pink cards, guys. Where's my little pink cards? Yeah, let me go get my pink cards. All right, guys, I got my little pink card. Um, so I just want to see, like, what's on their mind really quick. Um, because, like I said, whoever this is, it's like they're definitely trying to, like, again, like I said, they're definitely trying to make you happy. They're definitely trying to change the situation between you guys. So let's see. And for some of you guys, it's like this is new love, you know. And I just feel like what happened... Or what I'm seeing is that for some of you guys, this isn't love or someone that you guys met, you know, I'll say within like, like sometime this year. Okay. And I thought this person could have already been going through things. Um, yeah, I feel like this person could have already been going through things. And they really wanted to be happy or they really, like, wanted to be in love. They got tired of being single or, or they, you know, wanted to be in a relationship, whatever the case may be. And it's like they met you and, like, you were all of that. Like, you made them happy and they just, I feel like they like your energy, your vibe, you know, like, how you are, your looks, everything about you. And I feel as if this person, to me, I feel like it's selfish because I feel like if someone is going through something or going through a lot and then they're meeting you and they're not telling you things until after the fact or you find things out after the fact, which that does happen, it's just kind of selfish because I feel like this person just... Like, they didn't want to lose you or tell you certain things because they maybe felt like you would have walked away, stopped talking to them, or not saying that you would have judged them, but you would have felt some type of way, of course, because the Seven of Cups, like I said, is someone having way too much going on. And with the Ten of Swords, you're like, I don't know if I can, like, like this, I can't do this, you know? Um, so I just feel like this person, you know, saw happiness. They saw you as their Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, their new beginning. Um, I feel like when this person is around you, they're in that energy with the Ten of Cups. And that is something that they did not want to let go of. I feel like they maybe have not been this happy in a long time. Or, again, like I said, when they're around you or when they met you, it's like you just make them feel like whole and complete with that ten of cups energy. So let's see. This is a lot of cards where their mind is at. Okay, so we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, unsure of the future. So because there is this distance or, you know, the time apart, they are, I feel like, unsure of the future. And we have not today, not dealing her, avoiding a call, person, boundary, still angry. So I feel like you could have told this person, like, you know, like, I don't want to deal with you right now. Or, like, maybe you didn't want to talk to them at the time. Or maybe you just don't really have much to say. Or you said what you said and that was it. And it, you know, called you guys to separate or go your, dis like, your separate ways for right now. Or 
there's some separation here. We have ascending, okay? And it says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. So it's like this person is, is trying to overcome their obstacles and they want to actually see this relationship expand, okay? Meaning like they actually want to see this relationship evolve and go to the next level. But they know they have a lot of work to do or they need to like, it's something that they need to get let go of or get rid of or it's like, they're, it's something that they're going through or... It, there could be many things that they're going through, okay, for some of you guys. Or it's just inner conflict. It's just maybe they're trying to figure themselves out, their life out, okay? It can be all of that. So let's see. I want to go into the King of Pentacles really quick and see how the King of Pentacles is here. Let's see. Why is the King of Pentacles here? I mean, I said the King of Cups. Let me shuffle. Let me shuffle that energy out. Sorry, King of Pentacles. Let's see. Why is the King of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Ace of Cups in reverse. Judgment in reverse. The Empress. This person needs to love themselves. That's what this is all about. No, it was this way. This person needs to love themselves. Because we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, we have a Judgment in reverse, okay? So this is telling me that this King of Pentacles has either, like, some insecurities, okay? Or they lack love within themselves, okay? And Judgment is in reverse. They've done a lot in the past. They're learning from their past. Or, you know, they put themselves in bad situations. And they no longer can blame anyone else but themselves, okay? And we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this is like a lack of love. This is... This can be the sadness. This can be the separation between you guys, whatever. And then we have the Empress here. And like I said, remember I said that you guys came into their life and they see you as this Ten of Cups and this Ace of Wands. You're everything that they were looking for. Okay? But it's like at the time when you guys met or the timing is just like off, you know, because it's like this person wants to be the King of Pentacles. They want to commit. They want to give you this lifestyle. They want to make you happy. Okay? You're everything they've been looking for and wanting. But they're going through some shit. They're just, something is going on with them. Whether it's emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, all. Or all the above. Okay? And they see you as this loving, nurturing, you know, beautiful, confident, independent, abundant person with the empress. You have a lot of love, a lot of, you know, like just a lot to give, a lot to offer. And they're just like, fuck. You know? So... This King of Pentacles is definitely like, regardless of their sign, is in a position of like, damn, like, how can I change the situation? And I'm going to say it's going to start with self-love because that Ace of Cups is in reverse, okay? Um, so I want to even break down the Ace of Cups in reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? Or the Ace of Cups in reverse or Judgment in reverse can be them feeling like, you know, like, like you don't love them anymore or you like don't want them anymore. And it's because they're maybe not showing up as a King of Pentacles in your life right now or maybe... Um, your your feelings have changed towards them, okay? Um, because of the things that they're going through is what I'm also getting. That's why it's too many cards. So going to the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Fool and Justice. No, look, the Ten of Cups. Like I said, this person needs to love themselves first, okay? The Fool is like a clean slate. This is a new beginning. Remember, we have the World Card in reverse. Something is coming to a closure or ending in their life, okay? And it's gonna set them free. The the Fool card is. I mean, it's someone taking a risk, taking that leap of faith. But I feel like this is them being more confident within themselves, their future, or just in general themselves, okay? The fool travels lightly, so it doesn't carry a lot of baggage. So I feel like there's a lot of things that they're needing to, to let go of or remove themselves from. And then we have justice here. Something is wrapping up karmically in their life, okay? Or something is finally setting this person free. But it's going to start with self-love is what I'm getting. So this person is definitely needing to like love themselves and not maybe judge themselves for all the wrong things they did or just not judge themselves for the things that they've done in the past and move on from that and accept that and look at it as I learned from my past. I'm no longer going to make those mistakes anymore. I'm going to love myself and not depend on you to like give them all this love and attention and you be the one that's so nurturing and caring because I feel like this person also may have like feminine energy or... Meaning like, no, because we all have masculine and feminine energy. So let me reword that. I feel like they could be like a, of a feminine sign. So like a water sign, 
or an earth sign or they have that in their chart somewhere okay because i feel like this person could be like very loving nurturing they show affection um they want your attention all the time or they're the type that is like i mean i feel like this person as a guy like they like to cook this is the person that likes to do like foot massages or you know, like, they really like to cater to you, text you all day. Like, I just feel like this person has, like, a feminine energy, but not, like, with, like, they're, like, weak or anything, like, whining or nothing like that. But I just feel like they want to really cater to you or they do cater to you guys in ways. Or they do certain things that some guys wouldn't do, you know, that shows their feminine side, okay? Um... And then, like I said, we have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Look, with the Nine of Cups. But they're going to go through a tower moment. Something is about to hit them. Look, the truth is going to set them free. King of Swords, the truth and self-love will set them free. Yeah. The truth and self-love, that's what this is about. Because we, we have the King of Wands and we have the Queen of Swords. See? And this, this is them, like, this is, okay. So the Queen of Swords, King of Swords, that you guys not talking the King of Wands is actually them taking action towards the things that you said. Like them hearing you out and, you know, fully taking action towards it. Okay? So I feel like whatever you said, it created a tower moment. Or it's like there could have been like some argument, some upheaval, a, a disagreement, a huge fight. Something between you guys. But like I told you back there, it was an eye opener for this person. And it made them realize a lot. Okay? It made them see a lot. And you, you guys are helping them walk away from all the emotional pain and baggage that they were holding on within because we have the Ten of Cups. There's no way we go from the 10, the 9 to the 8. I feel like they're in the 8, going towards the 9, and then the 10 will, will, will blossom. You know, like, it's going to come, you know? And that's what I feel like this person wants. I feel like this person really wants to be happy, really wants to be happy in love, really wants a relationship. They really want to commit. They want to know what it's like to actually experience or be in that energy or have that. But they need to do some of the work. They need to do the work, Okay. And I feel as if you guys were the person that is helping them go and evolve. The High Priestess, Ace of Wands, and the Empress. You are that person for some of you guys. All right? So let's see. Let's even break down this Ten of Cups here. And then I'm going to pull a couple more messages. And that will be the reading for today. So um, let's see. Why the Ten of Cups here? Go on to the Ten of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. Or a wand. See, they're trying to they're trying to find balance and become stable. Okay, this person does want to marry you or commit to you and um commit to you guys with the two of pentacles, four of wands, ten of cups. That's what they're trying to find balance. They're gaining, they're trying to, you know, gain balance or find balance or become more balanced and stable so they can offer you something. See, five of pentacles, the lovers in, in reverse, they'll be hurt, they'll be devastated if you walked away, if you ended things with them. This may be how they feel now. Because this is the, this will be the separation or the break between you guys. And we have the higher font. See, look, and we have the two of cups. But like I told you guys, they're realizing that all their problems, burdens, or issues need to be what handled. And it's going to start with what the king of cups. That self love, loving themselves. Okay. So is they this person? I feel like also needs to mature emotionally. I feel like they have like some issues or some triggers or things that happened in their past that they're needed to overcome and let go of. Okay, they could have came from an unstable home environment. Like I said, I don't fight this person ever really been committed, but they're willing to put in the work. Okay, so take a step back and let the universe step in, guys. All righty, let the universe step in. Look, when I clarified, take a step, look what came out. The Empress. I mean, take a step back, the Empress. That's you, the Empress. They want you to take a step back. Because I also feel like, this is how you guys showed up in all your relationships. The loving, nurturing, caring, generous, giving. You know, like, you can't parent this person. You can't be a parent to them. Okay? And I feel like the universe is like, if this is going to work, they need to put in the work. Maybe you've done your part. Maybe you don't have a lot that you need to change or fix within you. I don't know. Your, everyone's situation is going to be different. But look, we have the Empress. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Four of Wands reverse. Okay? And I feel like some of you guys are actually thinking like, you know, I like this person, but should I move forward? Because I don't know if they can give me something stable, you know? Um, and I just feel like the universe is like, you know what? Take a step back so you can see the situation differently, okay? For some of you guys. Yeah. Some of you guys may go towards new love, okay? Because I feel like maybe just, this may just not be, you know, 
what you want anymore. Or maybe you feel like it was your Ten of Cups and you're like, nope, I just, I can't. You know, I'm the Empress. I understand, but I don't, you know. And I'm not saying like, saying it in a bad way, like, oh, you understand, but you don't. But maybe you're just taking a step back because you are the Empress and you're like, no, I just, I, I can't fix, heal, or change anyone, which is true, you know. So let's see how this is going to unfold, guys. We'll see. All right, at the bottom, we have wedding ring. So that's what the overall energy is for you and this person for today, October the 21st. What is the overall energy for you and this person? What is the overall energy for the collective and this person? Damn, that's a lot of cards. We're not going to take all those messages. Okay. So we have heartbroken. Deeply sad. I mean, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, through and loss, grieving. All right. And then we have love call that came out. So there will be, you know, a separation or someone is feeling heartbroken in this, in this situation. We have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. All right. So I feel like they are, you know, maybe going to text you like, hey, how are you doing? How have you been? I miss you. I love you. I care about you. Are they expressing their love to you in some type of way? And then we have abundance at the bottom. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So I feel like this person is just doing a lot of manifesting because I feel like this person definitely wants to come back and change or like, you know, come back change. I'm sorry, or be different or that's what this person is working on in this relationship. Okay. Um, right now. Okay. So that's what I'm getting, guys. I feel like, um, I don't know. It's, it's going to be different for all of you guys. You will know whether you want this or not. We have heart with the key for the overall energy. So it says, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. Remember I told you guys, what did I tell you guys in the reading? Remember I told you like they met you and like they felt like you were perfect. Like you were the key to their heart. Like they were like, wow, this is everything I want. And they just wanted to be happy. Wow, look what's at the bottom of this deck. And I just picked it up. Love yourself first. Remember I told you guys that this person definitely needs to love themselves first. They self-love. The truth and self-love is going to set them free. So um, let's see. What is overall energy for the collective in this person? Look, calling in your soulmate. Wow, in separation at the bottom. So for some of you guys, it's going to be separation, whether it's a day, two days, a week, a month, whatever. And they're going to come back making the effort. Like, they, there is going to be a separation, but they are going to come back making the effort. So we saw that. That's a repeated message, okay? And then we have honeymoon and we have passion, all right? So this is them wanting to reconnect with you. The passion is there. The chemistry is still there. We do have calling in your soulmate. So let's see your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you guys together. And we have the four of swords. So yeah, during a break, a separation, healing, rest, retreating from each other. They're going to be doing a lot of thinking, okay? And this person is ready to heal a part of them that should have been healed or needed to be healed a long time ago. All right, calling in your soulmate. We have that with, wow, look, for some of you guys, it's like it's worth waiting for. Or maybe this is worth waiting for. And that's probably why the universe wants you to take a step back, okay? Um, and not let this, you know, hurt you or break you or you know, have you feeling some type of way. Maybe they want you, like I said, maybe they want you to look at this different. I don't know. With um, worth waiting for, we have the nine of pentacles, okay? So, yeah. This person, this is someone independent. They have their shit together. They're ready. They're stable, okay? They're not codependent. They're ready to be in a relationship. Nine of pentacles. Yeah, four of pentacles in reverse. Shedding the old, welcoming in the new. Nine of cups, ace of swords. Gain clarity. They're ready to offer you the wish fulfillment that you were wanting from the relationship are they just they're coming towards you with a lot of you know wish fulfillment and happiness and they want to you know start over victory and love all that good stuff so it just all depends it's going to resonate differently for all of you guys all righty so that is the daily reading all right i love you all please do like share comment subscribe hit the bell so that you guys are notified when i do upload content and if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Alrighty, I love you guys. Please have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the daily reading tomorrow. Bye, loves.